Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. Last session we have seen about open source concept general, right? And in this session we are going to learn about e-commerce, okay? Already you are learning commerce subject, right? Here we are going to see about e-commerce. Why they are adding e? Mail is there. Why we are saying it is e-mail? When we do something electronically, we will say it is e-commerce or e-mail, right? Here in this chapter, we are going to learn about e-commerce, okay? Let's get into our lesson today. The wise possesses all. Anybody who is quick to identify or adopt with the new technology successfully, they will be getting the profit soon, right? So here commerce always gives you the profits, right? Here nowadays everything is done electronically, right? Even the shopping or uh, any banking transactions or any sales, marketing, everything is done through online, right? So here when you do this commerce also electronically, you will be able to... Um, find new technologies and adopt with the new emerging opportunities and expand your commercial things and you will be able to get profit easily right uh, the customer will go to the market and will see what are the products available there and will be choosing the required things which they need and uh, then they will be paying the amount and they will um, uh, get the Thing, right that is traditional commerce right here in uh, recent days if you see this buying selling this all services has become um, advanced right in this advanced technology we are uh, selling things and uh, we are getting things from online through online right here in the future commercial activities like uh, this uh, merchants and consumers and all will be forgotten only the online sales will be there, right? As this uh, technology has been grown so well and it is growing so fast, right? Here our uh, style of living has changed a lot, right? In the year 1996, IBM only found the term e-business, okay? Just uh, to bring the business in a broader uh, way than the commerce, this uh, e-business was uh, invented right here this e-commerce is a subset of this e-business only okay this e-commerce means this is the transaction which is done commercially through the internet okay commerce means normally you know what is commerce here e-commerce means the commerce or the commercial transactions which is done through the internet we will say it as e-commerce okay here e-business means this will depend on the internet for every intra companies and uh, inter company activities also like uh, procurement of uh, raw materials for marketing for uh, manufacturing selling for um, finance for the amount everything it will be depending upon the internet only right e-business means here e-commerce is limited with the monetary transactions using internet the this e-business is grounded on technologies like uh, internet intranet extranet these are all the network infrastructures right and about the network publishing infrastructures or uh, how will you publish a page in a net we need a web page right to create web page we need uh, something like html right to do the online marketing and the messaging and some information distribution infrastructures and all like uh, email, HTTP, uh, computerized inventory management system, EDI and all. Okay. And other common business services infrastructures are uh, electronic payment gateways, uh, globalized supply chain management and all. Okay. This online transaction uh, processing also here they have given a block diagram here if you see this e-business will consist of network infrastructure multimedia content and publishings messaging and information distribution common business service infrastructure that's what we saw now right a company is said to have e-business if 
it has the ability to conduct the business electronically over internet right uh, when a computer is selling products or getting the products or uh, doing the marketing through internet only we'll say that that company uh, is doing e business okay this manages the payment transactions also through this internet only okay when a, a thing or when a sales is done through internet the payment also must be done through internet only so the transactions are, are through this internet right this is a platform for selling products and services also via this internet okay that means the not only the selling products and all the services will be through this internet okay let's see what is e-commerce okay e-commerce means this is the most important aspect in this uh, area of internet okay just like other words like e-books email this e stands for electronic and commerce and internet makes e-commerce okay commerce done through internet is e-commerce okay this allows the consumer to exchange goods and services um, without considering the time and distance okay since this is done electronically the time and distance is not an issue right here electronic commerce has expanded rapidly over the past few years right nowadays in this situation than going to a shop and shopping something the better way is to do the online shopping right here over the past few years uh, some uh, predicted to accelerate also e-commerce can be described as the process of buying and selling products services or information through computer networks okay this could be a um, consumer based retail site or uh, maybe a trade site also right between the large business organization central the commodity could be a laptop or it may be a, a small thing or it may be a watch also but um, it could be uh, it could be simple using internet right this physical products which can be sold without being touched right if you want to uh, buy some you have to touch and see the quality of the product and if you want to buy that you won't prefer buying it online right but Uh, if you are buying some electronic gadgets and all uh, some will be having the uh, mindset of just uh, trying or using it or just uh, touching and seeing it and buy for them this uh, e-commerce won't be satisfying but if something some physical product can be uh, seen or um, can be seen or touched cannot be bought through online right some products can be just seen and they can be, we can order and we can get it after we are paying only we'll be able to get the product and we'll be able to uh, touch the product right here they are uh, distinct from intangible goods that means uh, this will have the value but they are not the physical entities right here tangibles tangible product will be like uh, printed books or cds or dvds or uh, lamps etc intangible products means uh, they'll be like uh, digital files uh, some downloaded video games this uh, products are not physical products right they can't be seen or touched right so these are the intangible products okay do you find the difference between tangible products and intangible products tangible products means book cd dvd or maybe a pen these are all tangible products the products which we can touch and some products which we can't touch we'll say it as intangible products they are digital files some video games which you have downloaded from um, net and some music files these are uh, all cannot be physical touch right this cannot uh, have a physical touch right here goods goods means uh, we'll say mobile phone uh, digital camera some clothing or uh, some uh, accessories antivirus and all information means the subscription to some uh, uh, newspaper scientific journals television channels and all services means matrimonial services placement services that will say it is services tangible form means 
digital cameras which is purchased from a consumer from an online shopping website which may have a uh, requested delivery in a specific address right electronic form means some music album some software which is downloaded from a website and uh, which may be delivered in electronical form right this is electronical form okay now let's see about the evolution of e-commerce evolution of electronic commerce okay this e-commerce is not a, a new type of commerce the dawn of e-commerce started few de decades ago itself right that means this e-commerce is not the one which came now it is there before many years right this one first uh, came in private networks in the year 1970 okay electronic data interchanges and the tele shopping together paved the way for e-commerce okay the history of modern e-commerce is a closely twisted together with the history of internet that means um, e-commerce came um, with internet itself when internet came itself it, it had a light um, link with the e-commerce okay internet and e-commerce e-commerce became a really possible one when the internet was opened to commercial use okay online shopping started to grow when the national science foundation opened the internet to public in 1991 since the business have reached the websites okay with the progress of internet technology the vastly developed global internet community large number of dot coms fintech internet startups have been appeared and had a strong foundation of electronic commerce uh, which continues to build that means since this internet technology is growing and uh, that has been developed globally uh, we can do all the uh, shoppings or all the business through online right the internet has provided a new commercial potential not only for large organizations but it is provided for uh, a sustainable entry point of small or medium sized enterprises also right here in this e-commerce this is no longer an exclusive domain for large organizations or private networks we can if you are starting a small job or if you are uh, going to start a small business also you you can do it uh, electronically right um, previously and all if you see if you are doing a, if you are having a large company or a big uh, um, turnover only will be uh, doing it online right after making the business to grow for a higher level and then they'll be prefer then they generally they'll be preferring to go for a e-commerce and all but nowadays if you see uh, if it is a, a private network or, or a public network if it is a small shop or a, if it is a small business also we can do it by electronically also right even though this e-commerce has been existing uh, for uh, many years this has been recently sustained a uh, big growth right this is because the internet has transformed from an axillary communication medium of academics and large organizations to an entrenched communication medium that extends nearly to all parts of mainstream society right here uh, what they are saying is this e-commerce has been grown very to a very huge height in a very small days that means when someone is starting a business online many people will be preferring the online business than going and uh, going and wasting their time and uh, to travel and uh, move to a place and then review the product and then buying the product is little difficult right so if that is available online the process will be very easy right so only here this e-commerce has been uh, grown very fast right integrated with commercialization of the internet personal computers and electronic payment systems together made this e-commerce to grow higher and higher right the growth of this e-commerce is also related to socio technological changes the more the medium becomes deep rooted the more are the users drawn towards it that means the medium or the way of uh, shopping or the way of business 
if it grows uh, with the technology the profit or the user or the cons- uh, consumers or the customers also will be growing right here increase of users increases the markets right if uh, if many users are preferring the online shopping uh, many uh, shoppers also will start the online shopping facilities right the more business accumulated it creates competition so right? the competition will lead to innovation each one will be um, finding new new technologies and they'll be creating innovative ideas to sell their products right and uh, so this drives to the development of the technology right this technology facilitates this e-commerce growth okay here in this diagram if you see they have given the uh, years and india's total e-commerce sale in the year 2009 is 3.9 billion american dollar right likewise the timeline describing various events in e-commerce is given in page number 15 right you just uh, refer it in, in the year 1960s electronic date interchange allows companies to carry out electronic transactions to a uh, online shopping right here in 1979 if you see english inventor michael aldrich connected a tv set to the computer with a phone line and created the tele shopping Uh, which is the sh- uh, which we can say it as shopping at a distance right in the year 1981 the first business to business transaction from thompson holidays in 1984 the electronic mail is launched by the uh, compuserve and this helped the users to purchase items directly from 110 online merchants right in 1991 the national science foundation allowed the internet to use for commercial purposes also in august 1994 if you see online retailer net marketing uh, makes the first secure retail transaction on the web a copy of the sings album 10 summoners tales okay here in the year 1994 august only the transaction is made securely for the first time right in 1994 october joy mac cambly ran the first ever online banner ad it went like on hotwire.com and promoted seven art museums the first online banner ad came in the year 1994 of october right that went like uh, in hotwire.com and this promoted seven art museums right in the year 1995 and in the month of july amazon sold its first item a science textbook right here nowadays if you see amazon flipkart and all are the top selling websites right than uh, keeping a shop and selling this amazon and flipkart sales are done in a very large level right the first thing sold in this amazon was a science textbook okay and then in 1995 september ebay sold its first item a broken laser pointer right and in 1999 the first online shop sappos opened okay and then in 2005 social commerce that is people using the social media in their buying decisions is born thanks to the networks like facebook and all okay then the group on uh, was launched in the year 2009 and 2008 only this group on launched in 2009 india's total e-commerce sale is 3.9 billion american dollar right and now in 2018 with mobile commerce it is expected to hike 265 percentage up and it will be uh, 850 billion dollar american dollar right so here we have seen the timeline describing the various events in the e-commerce right and now we are going to see about the development and the growth of electronic commerce okay how this uh, electronic commerce came and how this uh, grew up that and all here we are going to see right the first wave of electronic commerce was in the year 1995 to 2003 okay the second way of uh, electronic commerce was in the year 2004 to 2009 and the third wave of electronic commerce in the year 2010 to 
till present okay this development of uh, development of this e-commerce or the development and the growth of electronic commerce is has three waves first wave second wave and third wave first wave is in the year 1995 to 2003 and the second wave of electronic commerce in the year 2004 to 2009 and the third wave of electronic commerce is 2010 to present okay the development and the growth of electronic commerce we'll see in the next session okay so today we have seen about electronic commerce right we know what is commerce and today we have seen about electronic commerce okay we have seen the introduction of electronic commerce and then we have seen the e-business building blocks and all and then we have seen the evolution of this electronic commerce right and then at last we have seen the timeline describing the various events in e-commerce and in the next session we will be learning the development and growth of electronic commerce okay thank you for your valuable time stay home stay safe take care bye